Hello everyone and welcome to Truly Bedrock Season 1. This is episode 20. Hi, how are we doing? <laughs> so I just got done with a live stream building this right here, this monstrosity. And I wanted to come in and start an episode and kind of show what we've been doing. We've been getting attacked by slimes. That's kind of the number one thing we've been doing. <laughs> but what this is, is this is kind of an AFKable nether wart farm. So the idea behind it is similar to the AFKable ice farm. Um, we got an entry point here. I got to dig this all the way back once we're done with the farm. But you'll come in, you'll fill your entire inventory with stuff. And you'll have one slot right here, wherever, that has nether wart in it. Now you'll come across these pressure plates. This pressure plate pushes the pistons out, which pops off the nether wart. This right here fires a piston below this walkway that actually locks the hopper that is right here. So you'll come through here and you'll plant all your nether wart. When you get here, you'll pick up a little bit more. You'll come across, you'll hit this pressure plate here, which will release the uh, redstone block that's below this, allowing the items to flow through the hopper. This will also pop these off, and your next pressure plate will do the same thing by locking this hopper down here. So you'll come through here, and you'll hit all this stuff. We'll get pushed around this corner, pushed into this corner, and we will be facing the same way, ready to start this section. So it's just a zigzag across. Now nether wart has three growth stages with an average of three and a half minutes per growth stage. That is what the wiki says. So I did some testing and running across one of these modules takes about two minutes. So we have four modules, that's eight minutes total. If we build another four modules, that'll be 16 minutes. And by average, 16 and a half minutes, all the nether wart would grow. Now we will have the time that it takes to travel back across here to the front. That will add a little bit more time, and I think that's going to work out for us just perfect. Now, we need to go ahead and start placing in a few blocks. So these are offset by each other just a little bit. This soul sand starts right here. This one starts right here. So we have the same thing over here where the soul sand would be here. And this will come out by eight blocks. We'll have a two block gap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And that completes all of the soul sand. Now, we have this little hopper line here. Oh, that, that guy is not a big one. That guy is a medium-sized one. We will take him out. <clears throat> so when we come around here, we want a hopper placed right here at the end of this line. We have the other hoppers right here. So what I've been doing is I've been digging this out. We dig this out. We get rid of this guy. We get our hoppers, which I'm going to have to grab a little bit more of. We place this in. We'll fill that in with a block, that like that, that like that. We have to punch that away, and there we go. Now that should have ended up, yep, right there, and that is that line. This line underneath here actually is just going to continue to be a straight line. And the two outer edge ones will be a straight line, and the ones in the middle will do this little zigzag that we did right here. So we place that and that. Perfect. Let's go over and we'll have to do the same thing where we get rid of this. Just like that. And it's all very repetitious. Once we got it figured out, it took us a minute uh, to remember what I did before. This was a, a design by another individual. I cannot remember the name. Long time ago I watched the video, but that individual had like a, a block over there that would just stop you and make you wait and you would just come through two modules. I did not want to do that. We are going to build a massive farm. Now what we need to do is this gets extended out also and then this needs to be dug out. Ooh, we'll take that iron. We'll take all that iron in a minute, but 
we need to go ahead and dig this out all the way and we will actually knock the hoppers back out that we just placed because they're going to be in our way but we wanted to know where they were going to be so we've got a little uh, <laughs> gravel we got a little bit more to go and there's lava my favorite so i've got some of this we can place that in like that keep us safe and we'll do that and that for now come on that there just a little bit more to go and this is the end so now <clears throat> this section comes around this way okay so we'll ha we will have a row of blocks ugh, like this get out of here my dude uh one more there he is all right let's just go in here and place all of these row of blocks all the way down one thing we're going to have to do is we are going to have to run through this farm <laughs> just to reset everything and make sure we got like these blocks over here cleaned up just to make it look a little bit better we still have to build this up to the ceiling so now we have pistons that need to be placed in there and pistons that need to be placed in here and this is seriously getting out of hand with these slimes I obviously don't have much of a mob problem because the slimes are spawning in like crazy. <clears throat> so, this hopper here, I believe, is it the same over here? No, it is not. Should be one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. It's a good thing I checked that. So this should be a piece of soul sand like that. This block goes away. This turns into a stone block. And we'll place that in if we can. And let's get these guys out of here. Oh. Let, let me clean up these slimes and, and I will be right back. All right, so now we cleared out some slime. They're, they're still spawning over there, but they will. <laughs> We got a couple of slime chunks down here, but let's get to the bottom side of this. <clears throat> so we need a piston here, and then we're gonna place in blocks. We need to replace this, and we can jump out of here, and we'll place blocks all the way along this. That doesn't matter if that... Ay, ay, ay. I need to turn my notification sound off. That was really loud, sorry about that. Anyway, we'll place blocks all along here until we get to this point. So this hopper here is going to be the catch for this line this way. So we need a redstone block there. We will need a piston here. And then we will need a piston here. And we can come back over here and place this block down. We'll want to go ahead and place another hopper there. And now we can repeat this process a couple more times. So we got three more sections. Lost my train of thought. So we got that there. A piston there, piston there, and then we will have that there along with this one. So it's a pretty easy uh, pattern to follow once you got it all figured out. It's very repetitious, <coughs> very easy to follow. Let's see, we got one more to do. So we'll knock that away, that and that and done, and then final row here so now this one even though I didn't knock this hopper out of the way it still does need a um, piston on this side just to reset it do I have any junk blocks iron stone I guess we'll just use stone like so and fill that in this iron is going to come in handy now I do need one piston right there <clears throat> we do have to reset this line otherwise we would just have 
um, nether wart sitting on top of this hopper. So let's grab the pressure plates back out. So we'll place that in. We need a pressure plate on top of that and on top of the hopper. That's just to keep us from falling in. We'll come along here and do the same thing here. We'll pr uh, put a pressure plate here, here, and here. I said here, <laughs> there we go. And we repeat that pattern. <clears throat> and we're about to run out of pressure plates. There we go. Uh, we can make quite a few more. We need a few. You guys stay over there. Uh, one more time over here. Like this. It's a little dark over here. But we are going to fix that momentarily. So now what we can do is come through here and place all the blocks. As long as we don't step on the pistons, we should be fine. If you step on the, the pressure plate, I mean, and fire the piston so it goes this way, just be sure not to place a block below this layer here. It's relatively easy, and he's coming. I thought I got rid of you for long enough. <coughs> you know, I was thinking about building a slime farm because we were trying to get all the things that we need for our nether shop. Like, see... That one was pushed. As long as I didn't put a block there, we are good to go. And we can just do a simple reset there. We'll get rid of these guys since they're following us. And there we go. So now we can come in and we can uh, put in all the pistons like so. We are actually going to need a little bit more. Where did my redstone box? Oh, it's over there. Run over and get those. I crafted up quite a few of these pistons, so, somewhere in the neighborhood of 10 stacks. I think that should be enough. <laughs> oh, it's going to be hopefully enough. And I'm completely out of iron. I had, a st what, two stacks of blocks almost, and I'm almost completely out now. So, all right. The next bit that we need to do is the redstone. So we're coming around this way. That's one of the hardest things about this farm, is remembering uh, which way you're going. So, since we're coming in this way, we want to place some redstone in like that. This pressure plate will also power this line of pistons. So we'll place this along the top here. This one will come across the hopper here, up on top of that block, and fire this piston which is fine we can do this a couple more times I see him I see him there is a slime right yep come on I just broke my redstone because of you uh, there we go Perfect. <clears throat> so now the next task would be to run along here and place in a row of blocks. <clears throat> and hopefully, yep, I got more. That's good. All the way across there. Now we can take out some glowstone and we can place it in. This is just wherever I want it. There does need to be some light for the nether wart, I believe. I could be mistaken. Um, but we don't, there shouldn't be anything that spawns inside this farm, but this is just so I can see what is going on. So now we need to fill this in, like so. <clears throat> these over here will get glass eventually, but these bits here, we want to fill it in. So, um, I tried to slim this farm up, but this redstone right here, when I'm coming across here and I plant this block, if I hit this pressure plate, it would fire that piston, <laughs> and it would, we would be one, uh, nether wart short on each cell. So now we can do this, and that's pretty much all that needs to be done there, um, We'll put in two more rows of stone brick, but we don't have to do that right now. Now we'll just place in some glass. <clears throat> uh, 
The glass in this farm kind of does a couple of different things. Uh, it's in this box, I believe. Yes. Kind of keeps the nether wart from flying all over as well as <coughs> anything else from spawning in here. We've had some problems on bedrock with things spawning the way they're not supposed to. Tiz actually posted a, a picture on Discord showing mobs spawning on half slabs. So hopefully having this one high gap here will help because I think something could spawn on the soul sand. <coughs> Let's get away from that guy. <laughs> so this now gives us one, two, three, four complete rows and almost a fifth. I've got to do this three more times and then we're going to, I guess, test the farm out. I really want to test it out before I AFK in it and then I'd like to AFK in it maybe overnight and see what we can get um there is 32 soul sand per row so there's 64 every two rows so we're gonna have four stacks of nether wart that yield anywhere from two to four when broken and i mean we're gonna double or quadruple <laughs> at the maximum our nether wart so that's gonna be really really good but i've got a lot of work to to uh ahead of me so i'm gonna get after it and i will see you guys in just a few minutes all right so we're done <laughs> we got the farm pretty well done um the only thing i'm really lacking is hoppers so i just brought these out into some double chests oh let's uh, looks like a piece of soul sand made its way through. We should probably check that on all of these. Pieces of andesite. Uh, nothing in that one. I think we did a pretty good job of not dumping stuff into the hoppers. Now, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully everything actually makes it into the hopper. Or, uh, yeah, the hopper chains. We're just going to put that like that. So, I am going to take... Probably a golden carrot and throw them into the hopper chains as we go. We're going to do an initial plant of this thing and then we're going to kind of wait. And then I think I'm going to go AFK and we will see what it yields. Now I put glass in the front just so we could look into it. Um, I fixed my slime problem. <laughs> I caged these things in a wall of glass. I was tired of dealing with them and I haven't had any spawns down here since I've done that. So uh, we got a pressure plate here just to keep the water. We got all the water streams going. So let's go in here. And first things first, we're gonna get off the pressure plate. We are going to plant and we're gonna throw a carrot like so. We're gonna hit all of that, perfect. We're going to plant some more, throw a carrot, and get over here. The server is really busy tonight. We got quite a few people on, which is nice. A little laggy. Another carrot. Oh, wrong button. Yeah, there's five of us on there. I know TNC is AFK. And so that's it for that row on this side. We actually only need to throw a golden carrot at the very end. So we hit four of our five streams on the other side. The far one, we hit this hopper line is what I meant. Not streams. And let's see. We gotta do this, this initial plant just so there is um, Nether wart to grow. There we go. That went in there. Uh, if we came in here and we started planting, by the time we got two rows into this, we wouldn't have any more nether wart in our inventory. So we got to do an initial grow cycle. But this shouldn't take too long. And then we'll check the hopper. So this wasn't too bad. I spent a couple hours on stream and about another hour in between the clips that I had you guys in and we got her done. This is eight rows. We have room to expand it if we need more. 
So my first round of AFKing, I'm going to watch. Whoops. There we go. I'll watch myself go around this farm. <clears throat> and uh, just keep a watchful eye. Make sure... Let's do that. That it is actually grown and we're not breaking nether wart that is not fully grown. Because then the farm is, I mean, useless at that point. We're only going to gain what we already had. So... You might gain a little bit because some of these will grow faster than the other, but we want to make sure that we give this plenty of time to grow. All right, whoa. That's just from all my gear. I will end up taking all of my gear off. We will put it safely away. While we do this, we'll have an inventory full of junk and one little spot for nether wart. And we will go. Uh, one thing I should test, though, is this. F Let's see. We're going around the corner now. Whoops. I need another thing. There we go. We are going to test this row. And that's what I was worried about. That one right there. So we're still holding the trigger down going everything is resetting that is being harvested see it does work we kind of slow down right there going into the hopper but it works we might have one or two of these little corner bits that doesn't get any nether wart in it but that's not too big of a deal i'm just happy that we can get this thing rolling there we go what do i got last section Just a few more to go. <coughs> and I actually went all the way to um, the shop. I dropped off a bunch of nether wart, or not nether wart, um, soul sand. Because we had way too much in our inventory that I gathered up during stream. So we just dropped that <coughs> off at the shop. No big deal. And we met up with Blue Jay and gave him a copy of the stream banner from last night. So I don't have a carrot in this one. I don't have a carrot in this one. I don't have a carrot in that one. Oh no. And I don't have a carrot in that one. Why? Oh goodness, goodness, goodness. What's going on everybody? <laughs> We are just planting netherwort. <laughs> so <clears throat> I've been running through the farm, uh, working out all the kinks, making sure everything's working. I found some redstone that didn't place. Uh, so some pistons weren't firing. We found some missing glass blocks, things like that. We're just getting all the final touches done on the netherwort farm. Now, <laughs> I've been sitting here like this for a little while, just looking at myself. Anyway, let's <clears throat> let's finish this up. And so far we haven't had too many problems. We got this tunnel all done, everything. Um, let's throw this in here. Now, <clears throat> one thing I needed to do was make this farm a little bit bigger. Uh, originally we only had eight slices and we extended it out and now we have 16 and I was saying it wrong in the last clip the average growth cycle is three and a half minutes per cycle with three cycles of nether wart growth that would be ten and a half minutes on average this stuff should grow now I did a timing session of myself going through this entire farm i wasn't planting anything just walking through it and it took me 22 minutes to get around the entire thing and when i got back to the front i planted the first row and the first section was fully grown and everything after that wasn't fully grown so i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a timer to this system make sure yep i got it so down here a little ways, I cut into the wall, and I got this little tripwire hook here. And we are going to place a piston next to it, 
and the trip wire hooks on glass so that it doesn't fire that piston. And I don't have any blocks. Let me go grab those real quick. I, I wonder if I even actually have any. <laughs> um, did I run out of stone? No, I've got some. Perfect. So there's a couple of different ways you could do a timer. Um, you could do five minute intervals with a despawning timer. And I like that idea, but I kind of came up with one when I was looking through YouTube that was done by uh, Il Mango. Now, what he was using doesn't work anymore or doesn't do the time it says, but we figured it out, we got it to work. It's a quick and easy little timer, so let's dig out a space. So we're gonna need, what, a comparator block there, dropper, we're gonna have a double chest here. And then a hopper like that, and we'll have to dig down just a little bit more, I believe. And that should be enough. I just need to go get a comparator. And a couple of observers. <clears throat> and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of run a little AFK session and see uh, what this does. Actually, I'm going to need a, a sticky piston. It's like we got plenty of slime. I did redo this here. I put some green or lime glass and some slime blocks and some slime. I didn't like it, so I was going to shift the glass back in there, but when I did that, these guys got out, and yeah. We're going to have to recapture them. It should be a lot of fun. So I need a sticky piston. Let's do this. Should have everything I need now. Let's go in here. Okay, so a comparator signal off of this. We will need that there. We need a dropper here. Let's, oh, I do have a space above my head. And then knock these blocks out. I need a hopper. I guess we can do this from down here. Like that, and then we need a double chest, like so. Now we are going to need a little bit of space here. So that block right there is where we're gonna get our signal from. And it should pass to here, I believe. That should work. So I'm gonna have, trying to do this from memory is a little difficult. So we're gonna have one observer facing like that, no. It is going to face upwards. If we can get it. All right, let's put both of these on our inventory. There we go. Now we've got to get the dropper to face up. And it went... Oh, I didn't break it. <laughs> so now we will need a dropper, or not a dropper, but a sticky piston right here, like that. And then dig down just a little bit more. Place a block here. Observer here. Perfect. And we can fill all of this back in and place a torch. Now, that should go like that. If we get out of here, this should... I guess it doesn't take a signal directly below. That's right. Redstone doesn't pass through glass, genius. <laughs> How did I do this on the other one? Um, I took the signal from the other side is what I did. 
in the other one. I took the signal from that block. The problem is, I don't know if I have the room to take the signal. Oh, I do. And then we would drop it here so we can have it here. And there's the piston right there, right? Yep. So if we do this, a little bit of, how can I, I can stop this like that, just temporarily. So we need that dust there, we need this here and here, like that. Like that. And yeah, that shouldn't spawn anything. So we can place the bricks back in like that. And now, why, why you no extend? Let's just do that for now. Oh, because this is the block that has the dust on it, or the, ah, not that one. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. Well. Let's cut and let me figure this out. All right, easy fix, or at least <laughs> somewhat easy of a fix. Just, no, we can't do that. Let's, there we go. We're having some serious block lag issues. So let's get out of here. Now this right here, when we hit the string, should extend that down. And if you listen, you can hear that dropper firing. All right. So that fixes that issue. Okay. So when that comes over here, this is going to pulse and it's going to fire this dropper. Now inside this dropper, we are going to have roughly <clears throat> um, nine half stacks, which I don't know why I'm splitting them up. I could have merely said it is four and a half stacks of items that we are going to have in here. If you fill this dropper completely with nine stacks of items, it takes 18 minutes and 45 seconds for this dropper to clear. When this dropper clears, this comparator signal goes away and it will retract this block. So observers fire at two ticks. So we have two observers, that's four ticks. A hopper will pull items and push them every eight ticks. So this thing will fire twice as fast as this will pull the items in there. And that's what this little timer does. With half the items in there, it should be about 10 minutes that this is going to um, be extended. And this way now, make sure this is lit up good. We should be able to run this farm and get kind of an accurate um, should not accurate, but we should be able to stand here in this tripwire hook and this will hold us for 10 minutes. While we're doing that, we can hold our nether wart in our hand and we can hold down the trigger and just wait. Now we should be able to fully AFK this thing. Now. You can see that the water stream goes underneath the block. That's why I chose where I set this specific tripwire hook, because as you saw, it is right next to the farm, but it does fit in here nicely. <coughs> this piston retraction is pretty quick to the point that we don't want to clip into this block. And actually, I'm, I think I'm going to change that out for glass at some point. This way, in case we're standing there, we don't take any damage. 
But there we go. Everything is figured out. I do believe that these are all cleared out. There's a couple stacks of nether wart in there just from before when I was testing it and looks like a couple trickled through. So eventually when I get enough hoppers, we're gonna extend this chain out. We'll connect all, there's three chains that come into this one here. There's one chain that comes over here. We will connect all five of these up and we will probably put some kind of loading system over here and package it up in shulker boxes for ease of transport. And I think what we also want to do down here at some point is build a like mega furnace where we can bring our nether wart or nether rack rather, which we have a bunch here and a bunch here and a bunch there and we want to smelt it. So this farm is primarily to feed my need for nether wart to make red nether brick and nether wart block to sell it in our shop. So that is pretty much everything that I needed to do. I guess I just need to clean out my inventory, hang around the server for just a little bit to let this stuff grow. And then we're gonna AFK in this thing, or at least do one pass through and see if it works good. And then I will let you guys know what this thing yields. Minus these, we need to get those out of there. <laughs> and throw them in here. All right, well, yeah, now we're just gonna wait. I'll see you guys momentarily. All right. So I was told to start recording as soon as I log in. So let's let's see what happened. <laughs> we haven't done our AFK session at our um, Nether Wart farm because our controller is timing out. So I bought a wired controller. We're going to try that out. Hopefully we can do some AFKing at the Nether Wart farm and get some more Nether Wart. And we're in. Uh, if you missed it, we did a live stream in this area. <clears throat> Just kind of changing out some things. Uh, there, <laughs> there's Tiz Tom, the man of the hour. <laughs> He's the one that told me to record when I got on. So let's see what he did. All right. Um... So, there's nothing around this part of the base, it looks like. You know, I moved the conduit underground because I didn't like it. And now these drowned are spawning pretty bad. I think we might have to put it back. So, um, um, <laughs> your netherrack block. Okay. Don't look in the dispenser. Stand here. Don't look in the dispenser. Okay. Push the button, I dare ya. What'd he do? Huh? What was in there? Okay. <laughs> what? I look fine. I feel fine. Huh. What'd he spit at me? <laughs> well, I don't know. I guess I'll have to watch his video and see what he actually put in there for us. But I guess it's time. We're going to go down here. We're going to do some AFKing and see what we get for a yield on this nether wart. So let's, yeah, I'm going to go down there. I'll see you guys in just a minute. All right. Well, before we... <laughs> We've been trying to go over there AFKing for a while, but I, I just talked to Tiz, and I guess this wasn't it. He said to find the thing. He says, did you find it? 
Find what? The thing. I said no. <laughs> I shall go until you find it. Okay, I guess we'll go check the other areas of our base. He came in shooting at me with eggs. <laughs> and I put him in a ring of fire. Nothing looks out of the ordinary down here. No, that all looks normal. Okay. I don't know what he did. <laughs> um, let's see. We've got the sheep farm. We've got the chaos room. And we've got the nether wart farm. I guess we could go look in there. I haven't been in there. We got a slime. Mm. Okay, let's try the chaos room. This is just payback for all the times <laughs> that I've been pranking Tiz. Come on, this... we Yeah, I still got a lot of work I need to do. Everything looks in order here. So that's not it. This thing just gets jittery, yep. We just beat the bubbles up. Okay. This could take a little bit. <laughs> this is gonna be a really long episode and I apologize for that. Uh, let's see. Did he do... No. He didn't do anything underneath the dispenser. So we've got this room. I was going to go down in there, but I called Tiz before I went down in here. Nothing looks out of the ordinary down here. Did we get something in our inventory when that shot at us? I don't think so. What? I have no idea what is going on. Slimes are... Let's go look outside. One last place and then we're going to have to go AFK and cut this video. I guess we'll have to come back to it next time. So, here shortly... I'm going to put up an elevator to get us up and down this thing a little bit quicker. We got... Is there something up here with jerk face? This all seems to be in order. Got our herald. Okay. I did not look over here. Nothing looked out of the ordinary. Um, okay. Yeah, I know you're a problem, dude. Mm, everything's looking good in this. I have not a clue. This is me. That's the orange piece of wool he left. Uh, I have no idea.
I have not a clue what he did. He said, I shall go until you find it. Uh, okay. I don't know, guys. <laughs> I really don't know what he did. Maybe he did nothing. That's the joke. Maybe I was really supposed to look in there. I think it was just an egg that hit me. I don't know. All right, so we actually got an AFK session in finally, overnight. And so the entirety of this thing takes 22 minutes to get through the farm. We have a timer set up over here that I actually uh, added blocks to to make it 18 minutes. And it doesn't seem like we're doing optimal farming. So, we have almost eight stacks in that chest there. In here we have a little bit more with a uh, little over 12 stacks. Now that's almost 21 stacks of nether wart, but I went AFK last night. I'm not sure when I got booted. I went AFK this morning for a little while. And it seems as though, I mean, we're getting ne nether wart by doing nothing. So that's really good. But I think to optimize this system, I would need to extend this thing out, either another eight modules this way, or we could extend this entire thing four more modules this way. I think that's about the only way we're going to get an optimal situation. Another thing to note, I did put the beacon up here. You can see in the upper right hand corner, I have regeneration. And when I got on this morning, I was being sapped because I was hungry <laughs> so I was dying but with the absorption or saturation with the beacon we did not die so yeah we we probably need to look into getting some more iron I probably need to get these guys moved <laughs> into a more permanent location and probably set this all up to have an actual storage facility here because we're sitting at almost what was that almost 18 or we're sitting on 21 stacks so almost a shulker box full in just a couple of afk sessions so that's all for next episode though or later on <laughs> that's going to do it for me in this episode it's going to be a little bit longer of one um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video as always leave a like leave a comment subscribe if you're new Check me out over on my Discord, link is in the description below, and I will see you guys on the next one.